Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel PG Analytics. In this video, I will explain how to add a reset filter button in Tableau dashboards and the use of reset filter button. So here I have created one dashboard having different sheets and I have applied different filters. Now, as a user, I'll open this dashboard and I want to see the data of furniture. So I'll select furniture and I want to see the data of selected region. So I selected central and east and I'll select few segment also. Now, whatever values I have selected in the filters, based on that, I can see the data in the dashboard, right? Now, what I want, I want to select all the values in all the filters. So right now we can see whatever we have selected in the filter, we can see the data of selected values. Now I want to select all the values in all the filters. Now one way you can go to each filter, select all and apply. That is one way. But right now we just have three filters. We can do it easily. But when we work in the project, we can have 10 filters, 20 filters. So for the users, it is quite difficult or it is time consuming to go to each filter and select all. Now to resolve that issue, to make it easy, we can add a reset filter button. Now what this reset filter button will do, it will, when I click on this button, it will automatically select all the values in all the filters. So right now, few values selected in reason and few values selected in the segment. I'll just click on the reset, you will notice it has selected all the values in all the filters. So it helps to the users instead of going to each filter select all, they can do using one single click. Let's understand how to implement it. So I open the new workbook and I'll connect it with sample superstore, order sheets, and I'll just create one sheet, let's say category. subcategory, segment, and I'll just show the sales. Now I will add the filter also, category filter into the filter shell, subcategory filter and segment filter. Now I'll open, I'll create one more sheet. Let's suppose subcategory and sales. And I'll just put this both sheet into the dashboard. So sheet one and sheet two. Now what I want, I just want to show some filters on top of this dashboards. So here I just want to add some filters. So what I'll do, I'll just add one container, horizontal container on top. I'll do a little bit resizing and add the filters. So category filters, then I will add subcategory filters, then I will add segment. So three filters added, I'll just do some more formatting instead of showing list, I'll just convert to drop down and decrease the height. Now I'll just customize it. Let's keep it as it is. Now to show the reset filter button, we need to create a sheet. So I just open the new sheet, create a calculative field reset filter. Now in this calculations, I will just add the text reset filter. Click OK, add this into the text and convert this to entire view, do some formatting. I'll just increase the font size to 28, make it bold and center line. And I will as assign, I will just change the background color of this sheet. So background color is also changed. Let's keep some light color. So reset filter is coming. Now I will just add this sheet into the dashboard. So I will keep it floating and I can move this sheet anywhere in my dashboard. I'll just hide the title. Now the reset filter button is added. 
Now by default, automatically it will not work. If I select categories, let's say furniture, subcategories selected, I just select few subcategories. And based on the selections, I can see the data. Right now, these two, all three filters is applicable in only on sheet one. Let's apply to sheet two also. Selected worksheet, sheet two. And segment also on sheet two. So this filter is applied. Now based on the selection, we can see the data. Now what I want, when I click on this button, or in all the filters, it should select all the values. So for that, we need to use an action filter. So go to the dashboard, actions. Now apply filter action. Now I want to apply the filter on from sheet one to sheet two and three. So source sheet will be sheet one. Target sheet will be sheet two and three. Now, run action on select and clearing the sections will show all values. So from sheet one, I just want to show all the values in all the filters. Now here we have to pass the values. So we have to pass category. We have to pass subcategory and segment. Click OK. Now I'll go to the presentation mode. So right now, category is set to furniture, subcategory is some selected values and let's select segment also, corporate and home office. Now when I click on reset filter, all the values in the filters will set to all. So let's see it. Oh wow, it's not working, let's see what is happening in the actions i just modify that sheet one sheet all right so what we have done is we sheet one is the data sheet so we have to pass the filter from sheet three which is the reset filter sheet and we have to pass from sheet one and sheet two so remember this you have to select the source sheet that is the reset filter and you have to apply or you have to pass on the target sheet. So, or the data sheet. So that is in our cases, sheet one and sheet two. So it's better to rename it. Now we will apply the filter, category, subcategory and segment. I'll just apply. Okay, now let's check. I just select reset filter automatically all the filters set to all i'll do once again i'll just select accessories appliances and segment is corporate now when i click on reset filter subcategory and segment will select all the values so instead of going to individual filter and select all we can implement using the reset filter now there are a couple of points that we have to remember when we use reset filter options you should not apply like we have done here. We should not apply the filters, action filters on the reset filter sheet. So in the target, we should not select, we should avoid it. Also, whatever filter we have, we have to select all the filters in the selected field. So we have three filters. You, you will notice in the selected field, we have added all three filters. If you have five filters and you want to reset to all filters, then add all five filters here. It will not work if we select all the fields. So let's see. Now it will not work. So we have to individually pass all the filters, then it will work. So instead of keeping it all, let's keep it selected fields. And we have to select the column here, category, subcategory and segment. Now it will work. So remember this point and it will help to the users to select all the values quickly on single click. So that's about this video.